Howdy folks, greetings from the workshop. I've got another kazoo video for you today. And you know what, I just realized something. Last Friday was the first Friday in July and I did a kazoo video. It was that uh, super kazoo. And then uh, today is the second Friday in July and I'm gonna do another kazoo video. And that wasn't planned, but I'm thinking I should just keep going with this. Let's make July have kazoo Fridays. Every Friday I'll do a uh, you know another video that features a kazoo. Kazoo Fridays in July, why not? It could happen, stay tuned. <laughs> anyway, today we're gonna make an electric kazoo. So for starters, this is one of these cheap plastic kazoos, the same one that I used to make the super kazoo. These were, I think these were like seven or eight dollars for a 10 pack. So, you know, about 75 cents each or something. Very, very inexpensive, but you get yourself a cheap kazoo here. And then we're just gonna need a few parts. And I've never tried to do this before. So this will be the first time you guys will be going along with me for the ride, but I think we can do it. Let's make an electric kazoo today. So in addition to our kazoo, we're gonna need a piezo disc pickup uh, with wires attached. Now, you can buy these with wires attached. I actually buy them without, and I solder the wires on myself, but I pre-soldered a couple wires on there. And so you're gonna need one of these, and that's what's gonna function as our pickup. Of course, you're gonna need some solder to attach the pickup and a, and a soldering iron, of course, to the jack. So this is an eighth inch jack. And I know some of you might be saying, oh my gosh, you're using an eighth inch jack. Why not a quarter inch jack? Because an eighth inch jack is a lot lighter and not just the jack, but the plug itself. When you plug a quarter inch jack into something that's really light, like a plastic kazoo, it tends to be wobbly. So I'm going to use an eighth inch. You could certainly use a quarter if you wanted, but I think this is going to work better. So you need an eighth inch mono jack. You're also going to need some heat shrink tubing. This is a one and a quarter inch heat shrink tubing. Um, you could use electrical tape if you don't have heat shrink tubing around, but I think this is gonna work pretty nicely to kind of seal everything up when I'm done. So you want like a, you know, a short piece of that. You're gonna need a drill bit. And so I have here, this is a 964 drill bit. Um, an eighth inch or larger would probably do the same thing. Uh, but of course you're gonna need a drill to use it with. And then you're gonna need some super glue, just some regular old super glue that you can get at the grocery store. So let's try this. I've never tried to build an electric kazoo before, but let's give it a shot. So there we have it. Here is our electric kazoo. So you can see it's very simple. We use, This hole that we drilled here is going to let the air out because we're really blocking the air exit with the piezo. So that's gonna allow it so that the uh, membrane can still vibrate. There should, be a, um, there should be a pretty decent kazoo and it should still work acoustically, though it might be a little bit quieter. So it's not as loud as it was before because we are blocking a lot of the exit there. But let's go plug this thing in and see what it sounds like. Okay, so here I am in the studio with the new electric kazoo. And one other thing I did, uh, I didn't get video of this, but you can see on top of the piezo there, I put just a little bit of hot glue to kind of 
uh, make a little feedback insulator there because I didn't want, I was afraid that you know, it might pick up a lot of feedback if it was just the raw piezo there on top. So hopefully that helps limit any feedback. But other than that, you saw exactly what I did. So I have here my little cigar box amp. And let's go ahead and plug this in. First of all, here's acoustic. And let's do the amp and see what it sounds like. Oh yeah, that's much louder. It definitely amplifies it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You could definitely tell the difference when the amp is on or off, but there we go. Let's try to plug it into some effects and see what this thing will do. So there we go, folks. That was a process to make an electric kazoo and what you can do with it. Kind of a fun little project. It only takes you a few minutes and you know, there's very little expense involved in something like this. This is a very cheap, easy project to do. So, you know, if you like that, give it a thumbs up. And if you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. And if you like Kazoo Fridays, let me know because you're probably gonna get another one next week. I'll see you guys soon.